Hello again everyone, Age of Dune here, and we're back with another League of Legends shoutcast. Gonna be doing a team game, of course, or a full shoutcast, not a single player shoutcast. Last video was a single player shoutcast, and as normal, alternating between them. So if you do enjoy the single or the yeah, the single player shoutcasts more, uh, unfortunately you will not be getting one this time, but next video should be one of those, so there's that. I did go ahead and choose this video because it has Fabi in it. Definitely one of the NA famous people. He's very well known. It's also got Best Riven NA. I know I've heard that name before. And he's actually playing Gnar, amusingly enough. So, no Riven there. Looks like Best Riven NA will be top versus the Lissandra here, played by Neon Surge. In the mid lane, looks like it's going to be Morgana, played by Raiken, against Zed, played by Albert. Berto Rengifo. Rengifo? Right up there. Yeah, both of them will hover around the mid lane. Not surprising. All right, so we've got the ADCs here. We've got Latman playing as the Caitlyn versus Fabi playing Draven. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. The supports, we've got Wimbus playing Annie against Janna played by Neko. I actually haven't seen Janna in a while. She's really strong. I, I do enjoy... I don't know. I don't know that I really enjoy playing her, but I, I've played her a decent amount. Not in any rank... Well, not recently in ranked, anyway. Alright, so finally we've got the junglers. Lee Guitar Stringa playing as... Imagine that, Lee Singa. And then he's going to be against Malphite. Malphite Jungle, played by Isurugui. Isurugui. Uh, Isurugi. Is, is, is it Rugi? Yeah, anyway, he's going to be doing the jungle for the red team. That is something I don't think I've ever really seen recently. If at all. Normally I see Malphite top or something. I don't I don't tend to see him in the jungle. But here we go. We get to see him in the jungle. I, I guess I can see it. I mean, he's got the slow from his Q. So he can at least have the soft CC from that. He's got the mad engage of his ult. These guys are actually coming to lane a little late, but they did get that oof. Lots of, lots of harass coming out. They got the level the the Gromp, I believe it is. So, they're actually not as far behind as one would think. Although, given all the harass they've already taken, they actually are pretty far behind. They have taken a lot of harass as soon as they came here, as these two just completely ripped them to shreds. But we'll see if they end up coming back, and I'm sure they will. By the way, I did go ahead and get a new chair. So if the chair sounds have been bothering, bothering you in the video, you don't have to hear that anymore after I believe this video. This should be my last video with this chair. It's great. I think I got a much more comfortable chair, too, so that's going to make me happy. Yeah. Now I just have to actually put it together. It looks like Malphite was hovering around mid to possibly come for a gank. Decided against it, and is now actually... Oh, going for the... Little guy. Little crab guy. He has such a terrible life, you know? He's just trying to do his thing, walking in the river. And then you got people like that, and they just come over, beat him up, and expect him to do things for them. What the heck, man? Alright, so I really don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of hovering around here. Uh, looks like he is actually going in on Lee Sin a little bit there. Gonna get picked up by the wolf thing. So Lee Sin knows he's here, and he's forced to back off because of that as well. Morgana coming up to go ahead and get a little bit of her ass off on him. Actually doesn't do a thing to him thanks to that shield, though. Gotta love the shield. And my A ping's coming out from Lissandra. No, I was there the whole time. He was there the whole time! Yeah. And then down here in the bot lane, if we look at the CS, unsurprisingly, Caitlyn is way the heck ahead. She's currently 10 CS ahead at this early in the game. Definitely unpleasant, but at the same time, I mean, it is Draven. He, he tends to get bullied by Caitlyn. Nice. Nice tornado there. And, oh, he still ends up going down. The flash forced out of Janna, but she's able to shield herself up to keep herself alive. We've got an engage coming in here on Malphite as well. Looks like he got ganked in his blue. He was spending a little too much time over here instead of going around and doing his jungle. I guess he thought the Lee Sin was going to go ahead and come and take his jungle, so he was thinking about going for the enemy blue. But either way, he still took too long just hovering around here. So I'm not quite sure why he decided to do that. Either way though, he went down pretty fast. 
And now we've got the blue team actually going for this dragon. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. I don't know that they can really take this. I mean, Lee Sin's pretty low as it is. Annie's really low. Latman, it looks like, is going to come up to go ahead and tank this. And then with the three of them there, they should be able to do it without too much trouble. But they are all going to get really low. So if anybody from the red team came, they would get a triple kill. Not going to end up happening, though. These guys are end up going to be able to get out of this. We do have a gank come in here from Zed, though, coming in on Best Driven NA. And he's going to get Meganar right as that gank starts, which is definitely unfortunate for these guys. There we go. They are going in. Meganar comes out. Just kidding. Meganar tries to come out. He got to the maximum rage. Unfortunately, was not able to land before he died and ended up turning to a dead Minimar. Really unfortunate to die right there. Very nicely timed by these two, though. That was a great engage. I, I kind of thought they weren't going to be able to do it. But they did go ahead and time it just perfectly. So they were able to finish him off before that Meganar came out. Because you do not want to fight a Meganar. Especially not under tower. And, I mean, they, they hardcore turret moved the guy. And definitely a risky proposition there. A little harass coming out here again onto the Janna. Fabi just trying to go ahead and CS up for the moment. Not really doing much of the way of harass. I mean, he's got a lot of damage if he lands those uh, auto attacks empowered by Qs onto people. But a lot of times you don't see that this early in the game. You'll see him go ahead and just do what he can to get the CS. Especially against somebody like a Caitlyn who's got that massive range. There we go. A couple auto attacks come out and you can see what it did. It took about a quarter of her health. There we go, another quarter, and she is down to less than half off of four auto attacks right there. Four auto attacks, and she is down that far. Jan Janna is actually taking a lot of damage there from the Annie, but at the same time, Fabi's been continuing to damage this Caitlyn. There we go, they're going in. Caitlyn got really low. The Ignite came out. Annie doing a lot of damage there to Janna, but Fabi is just wrecking these guys, and they were forced to flash out all that engage and they were the ones that were forced to run we do have a gank coming in here from both mid laners and the Lee Sin so you gotta watch out there's a nice dodge of that Q and there we go Fabi going back in again the, the tornado comes out Fabi gets the kill gets to cash in Morgana coming from the back maybe landing something but I don't say I don't know that that's what she wants to do with this game not at all because <laughs> Her teammates were entirely too low to want to go for anything. And we also have another gank going on up here because, I mean, Malphite knows it's safe to go right now. There we go. Out comes the ward. The freeze. In they go on Best Ribbon. And A, he jumps out. Is he going to get out, though? The answer is no. Now that Malphite flash, going to be able to finish him off. Oh, but that slow was just enough that that last, auto, that last tower attack fired about half a second before he got out of range. And unfortunately, he did end up going down. So, kill there goes to Best Driven NA. Died one for one. Not too shabby, although it'd be, of course, better not to die. Always better not to die. But honestly, probably going to be okay worth. I do kind of wonder about the Morgana versus Zed matchup. I think... I don't know that her Black Shield... Does it, uh... Absorbs magic damage, which I don't believe any of his spells are actually magic. Let me see. That one's definitely physical, physical. Yep, all physical. So no, she will not be able to prevent any of his damage. Against a regular mid, actually, Morgana, of course, would be pretty decent. But against somebody like the Zed, her passive does no or her um, black shield does nothing. So that's definitely unfortunate there for her. We do have another gank coming in here from Zed. He's going to get picked up with this pink ward, but he'll probably go ahead and finish it off if he gets to see it. He does not. Janna going to go ahead and go for that. And Fabi, of course, in the meantime, going to go ahead and just zone them back. They know for a fact it's there now. Zed, in the meantime, just zoning off the least in. No, you don't get to go for this. And that ward is gone. Out comes the stun. Does not end up landing, actually, and Fabi is going for this. Gonna be able to finish off the Annie. That was a pretty big misplay. If we go ahead and rewind that to see exactly what happened there, she had her stun charged. She used it on her W and ended up missing it. There we go. Out goes the W. The Q comes right after. The W doesn't stun, of course, because it didn't hit Fabi. The Q doesn't stun because the stun was already used. So 
very unfortunate play there, and that Janna ulti is enough to go ahead and keep Fabi alive. Ooh, gonna eat that for him? Yeah, good idea. And in comes Lee Sin. Probably not actually gonna go for this. These guys split up. Oh, gets the Q. He does manage to do it, and kicks the Janna back. She flashes in. Gonna be able to make it under the tower. Oh, just kidding. Another auto attack there from a lat man after the flash there. Gonna be able to secure that kill. Look at the mid line. Yeah. Morgana's actually a little ahead in CS, which is somewhat surprising to me. I would have expected Zed to be a little bit better than her. Ooh. Words up the bush finally sees the pink word that's been in there that whole time. And she's gonna go ahead and do what she can to take it out. I guess I could kind of see how Morgana would get that CS at advantage just because of the fact that she does have that uh, tormented soil to go ahead and get it. Gonna go ahead and use her ulti onto him right after he uses his ulti and all of a sudden he's getting really low and he actually ends up going down there. That was definitely unfortunate there for him. Long time stun followed immediately after by that dark binding which he couldn't dodge of course because he was stunned. So he ended up going down in the tormented soil. Nicely played by Morgana. He went in on her and she ended up making him pay the price for it. Hey yo, that's a ward. Gonna go ahead and sweep it. Nope, not gonna sweep it. Gonna go back to lane. All right, got the MIA ping coming out here from Nar. He's about to switch into Mega Nar for him very soon here. And unfortunately for him, it's gonna be slightly, actually it doesn't really matter. This is just one of those ones that you're not even gonna worry about. He's probably gonna just back off. Sandra's gonna get in there just in time to go ahead and get most of the CS, though not all, not all, but most. There you go. Missed two of the CS, so that's not all that bad. Not bad at all. And down in the bot lane, we have this nasty duo again. Honestly, I feel like, uh, oh, he stepped on a trap, takes a ton of damage there, and Tibbers comes out. The stun, he goes ahead, blows that heal. In comes the teleport from the Lissandra. Out comes the ulti onto the Annie, and the root onto the Caitlyn. Out comes the heal bait from her. Janna takes a lot of damage. In comes the Zed. Rip, Latman, you dead. <laughs> and they are just juggling this tower to the best of their ability and they managed to go ahead and juggle it all the way in and they got that kill in comes Lee Sin wanting to possibly go for this gotta watch out if that Q landed on Fabby Fabby would be dead we've got Morgana coming up as well taking a little harass from the Zed not really too much now she's probably gonna go ahead and follow him up but we do have the Malphite on the way down Looks like he's not going to go for it. It did give Gnar the opportunity to go ahead and get this tower, though. Because of the fact that that teleport was used to go down bot and help them, it means, you know, she's not going to be able to get there in time. He's not going to be able to take the tower, probably. Well, he might be able to. But at least so far, he has not managed to take the tower. And we'll see if he ends up being able to later. In comes Malphite going for this Lee Sin. Going to go ahead and ward jump over the wall. No dragon for you this time. They snuck the last one. Not going to be able to sne uh, sneak this one. Almost said snick doesn't even make sense. What the heck, man? And that ward right there is still giving these guys vision, so they know he is re-engaged. But unfortunately for them, it's a three versus two right now. Malphite's still hanging around, wanting to go for this. Lee Sin doing what he can. And it looks like he may get this one, though. There we go. Dragon goes down. Malphite forced to back off. Hopefully not forced to ult, because that would definitely be very unfortunate. Be forced to do that at this stage in the game, but we'll have to see what happens. Zed is on his way over. Nar is being very cautious. Oh, gets that ward just in time to see the Zed go into the bush. And it's like, oh, well, that's, that's good to know. You could tell he, he figured it, though. He, he knew something was happening because Zed was MIA, and he backed all the way back here. He did not want to get anywhere near his tower. Zed now coming in. Going to try to get some damage on to Looks like just clear out these minions. As he, his tower just took actually a lot of damage. Lissandra coming around from behind. You gotta watch out, but she does have Black Shield. In goes Lissandra. Gonna go ahead and root her up. There's that Black Shield. And the ulti comes out from Zed. Out comes the ulti from Morgana. Oh, Lee Sin goes in to get the kick. Out goes that Lissandra ulti. Not gonna be able to finish anybody off. She gets Black Shielded. Oh, sorry, uh, Dark Bound. Dark Bound? Dark Binded? Dark Bound? We'll go with Dark Bound. She gets Dark Bound, ends up going down thanks to it. Nice counter gank there by that Lee Sin. Lots of damage coming out in here down in the bot lane though. Looks like Wimbus is gonna die. Yes, and that is it. Oh, the kill goes to Janna. No cashing in for you there, Fabby. That always sucks. 
I'm, th oh, I'm, I'm Draven. It is so important to get that cash in, and unfortunately, that did not end up happening this time. No extra gold for Fabby. Although, if they can manage to catch Latman, they might actually be able to do something. Looks like they're gonna go for the tower for right now, though. And Janna's just gonna go ahead and zone her. But this is the little guy's on his way down. Nar's on his way down. He does not have his. Meganar, though. He's not even close to having Meganar. Janna gonna go ahead and shield herself up. They'll get out of this with no problem. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised to see him even choose to go in there without the Meganar. I guess he does have a decent amount of damage that he could have gone ahead and helped the Caitlyn. And of course, she herself, 111 CS, 211, she's pretty darn strong. So they did not want to fight both of those damage dealers at once. They went ahead and backed up. Got that CS now for Fabi. And Janna, of course, went all the way back. Cannot say a blamer there. Pink ward going down. Alright. So, Lissandra did go ahead and grab this tower a while back. And now she is shoving this forward. So, so far... Wait, we already knew about it. No, we didn't. Okay, yeah. So, Nar has not got his tower yet. She, however, has got her tower. This tower, pretty even. Uh, by that, I mean this tower is dead. So, they're even on towers until just now. Holy crap. Come on, guys. In the middle of saying something. Yeah. So now the blue team is actually a little ahead on towers. They are one ahead. And that's going to give them a little bit of a lead on gold. They're actually not that far ahead, though. 500 gold. We do have an engagement going on down here. Zed trying to finish it off. Sandra does manage to go ahead and finish it off. That is an even. In comes the Malphite. Really hasn't done much this game from what I've seen. He had that gank up here, which actually did go pretty well. But... Overall, so far, mostly just been trying to farm up to get to late game because he does have that massive engage. And if he can get to there, he can go ahead and tank them up and do quite a bit of damage. Lissandra up here to go ahead and defend her tower. But these guys have already taken this bot tower. No defending this. Malphite is hanging around, though. If they go in, in goes the Annie. In goes Malphite, though. All of a sudden, Annie is dead. Fabi gets the kill. That is great news for him. Cashes in all of that gold. And he is back down to five stacks now. Just got a ton of gold off of that kill, though. So great news for him, indeed. Very good news. Lissandra, in the meantime, knows something's up, so she's not going out. And by that, I mean she's definitely going out right now. Yep. So she goes ahead and proves me a liar. Lee Stan hanging out in that bush. She's about to have a really rough time. No? No? Lee Stan not going to engage this? No? No. Not going to engage this. She's just clearing out the wave here. In comes the Lee Sin. They're wanting to go for this tower. In goes that Meganar. And they are tanking this tower. She goes ahead and ults herself. But Meganar just focusing that tower. She flashes to get out. I don't think it's going to work, though. Out goes that ability. She does get hit with a Q. Nicely done by Lee Sin. Figuring out where she was going to go. Walking to where she is. So that if she decided not to ride the ice, then he still would be going the right way. But you predicted where she was going to go with the Q, so as soon as she jumped to it, immediately got hit by the Q, and he was able to follow through. Meantime, though, looks like the Morgana did get destroyed over here. Another kill, I think, went to Fabi. He's now 4 2 2. That's not a good sign there for the, the blue team. But on the other hand, I mean, it, it's still a really close game. They are, again, 5K ahead, or 500 gold ahead. 5K, not even close. About 500 gold ahead, and. All in all, just a very, very closely tied game. The thing to remember, though, these guys also have two dragon buffs. So while gold-wise, it's about even. Stat-wise, they're a decent amount ahead of this red team, which is great news for them. Dragon is up in 37. Looks like the red team wants to be prepared this time. And they're doing what they can to get some control here. Is... Is... Is a rookie. Izarugi's ult is actually back up, so he'll be able to use it on the next team fight if one breaks out. And he says, hello, goes ahead, blows Tibbers, and then she again gets melted. Blue Tibbers on the Janna, and down she goes. That is another kill for Fabi. Definitely not a priority target to blow Tibbers on Janna. And that was 100% of bait by Janna. Immediately Malphite followed through. Now they are going for this dragon, and it's a 5v4. He doesn't have his ult anymore. So if something does break out, blue team, I think, might have a little bit of a partial advantage, but not enough to really make it worth it. Especially with Caitlyn hanging around the mid lane. These guys should be able to get this dragon if Malphite can go ahead and land the smite. 
And they go, oh, goes to the Lee Sin. Out. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Big team fight here now. And we're getting a lot low, but nobody's died yet. There we go. Down goes the Morgana to the Zed. Zed goes down. And the Lee Sin goes down as well. Gets shut down there by Fabi. And Nar is actually able to shut down the Fabi that would return. But on the plus side, he didn't lose any stacks. If that even still happens. I'm not 100% certain on that. But didn't lose any stacks 100% because he had just claimed them all. Malphite gets stunned up by Annie. Oh, that. Oh, no. That Janna ulti, I was about to say, was enough to, uh, to keep him alive. But unfortunately, not so much. Oh, what the heck was that? I don't know what that was. That was strange. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> Nar just sitting around laughing. A little hoodlum. Oh, there it was again. Maybe it's a visual bug or something. I have no idea. Huh. Anyway, keep seeing these random snake things, and I have no idea why. Huh. Anyway, though, back to the game. These guys shoving down mid lane. Red team is shoving down the mid lane. Looks like they're probably going to be able to do at least a decent amount of damage to the tower. Not going to be able to take it, I don't think, though. Annie is here. And actually no damage comes in from them whatsoever. They went ahead and backed off as soon as they saw the Annie. So no damages for you. Now I keep looking around for that little snake guy. I'm really curious about what that is. I have no idea. I've never noticed it before. It's probably been here the whole time. I just never noticed. Alright. That's okay though. Lissandra coming down here. And it looks like we've got a possible team fight breaking out up in the mid lane here. All but Caitlyn are here for the blue team, all but Lissandra for the red team, and Dark Binding misses there, and Mega Nar is up, it's about to go down, that would be the time that the red team wants to engage here, Slow comes out onto him, and Mini Nar comes out now, are we going to see an engage? We do not see an engage quite yet, but they are definitely in position to do so. Lissandra's shoving down this bot lane, so she's going to be able to get a tower there. These guys are just trying to play a defensive game in the meantime, Caitlyn has joined the blue team. So they're going to have to play a bit more cautious now. Lissandra continuing to shove down there, though. Malphite takes a pretty big hit, but not too terrible. He is a tank, of course. And so far, these guys are just trying to go ahead and keep this tower clear. It's getting low. It's getting low, but Lissandra's continuing to shove down that bot lane, trying to take it, uh, trade an interior in interior turret for an interior turret. And one wave of minions is down. She still has a wave of minions. She's going to be able to take that tower probably right about the same time these guys take this tower. So it's going to be an even trade for towers. Zed went ahead, went up to the top lane, does not want to get that crashing in there, and yeah. Tower goes down. Now they have to defend this tower. He's able to defend that. Lissandra took down this. She goes back. She's going to be able to meet up with these guys, but is it going to be in time? Teleport comes out for her. Meganar goes in. He's getting chunked, though. Misses the Gnar. He goes down. Out comes that Malphite ulti. Popping these guys under the tower. In comes the Lissandra. Laman is just the land that on Lee Sin. In goes that Zed ult as well. Latman goes down. Zed ult going to be able to finish this guy off. Pop. Down he goes. That is the only one left. Wimbus. Run, Annie, run. Annie, are you okay? Going to go ahead and ward that up. But uh, not really going to be able to do too much to prevent it. But she just blew Tibbers. So she's not really got much. She might be able to... No. Doesn't even have Tibbers alive anymore, so she's not going to be able to send him around or anything to do some harass. And they're going to go ahead and take out the ward. No, they don't take out the ward. Teleport coming in because they didn't take out the ward. Baron goes down, but Nar comes in and immediately jumps out. In goes the Zed on that. They are also going for the Annie. Nar able to do a lot of damage to Zed. Zed flashes over the wall, though. Going to be able to escape that. These guys continuing to chase the Annie. Slow comes out. Nice Zonyas to keep her alive. And Nar is able to get out of that with his improved recall. Nar, um, Zed's able to get out of it with improved recall. In goes Nar. These guys, there's three people here. You don't want to go for this. Out comes the Slow, and they are going in. His Mega Nar is coming up soon. Out comes Mega Nar. Jumps in, gets frozen. He's going to go down. And does not even manage to go ahead and finish them off. That is another kill there for them. He thought Meganar was going to be able to finish them off. It was not. Not even close. That Lissandra ulti just said, yeah, you've got Meganar. I don't care. You're stuck. You can't do a thing. And uh, no, he, he definitely could not do a thing. He nearly finished off Lissandra. But unfortunately, League of Legends nearly finishing somebody off does nothing. 
Mickey Sims says, screw you guys, I'm taking your blue. Which, you know, that, that's something, I guess. When you've got a mid laner of Zed, it doesn't matter all that much, though. I don't know what Zed's doing. Does he have his ulti? He does have his ulti. Is he actually going to go for something here? I, I, I don't think he can. No, he's not. He's going to be forced to jump away. Uh, actually, his teammates are here. He goes in on Annie. Out comes that ulti from Draven. Down goes the Annie. In goes the Malphite ulti onto Caitlyn. Caitlyn's getting really low. She's going to end up going down that uh, final auto attack. Red team continuing to chase this dark binding lands onto Malphite, though. He's going to be forced to fall back. And that team fight is over, but they did manage to take down two members of the blue team with no deaths at all for the red team. Now it looks like they are at least mostly targeting this mid tower. Zed gonna shove up down bottom and just let these guys go ahead and take down this tower by themselves. Morgana seems to be kind of searching, circling around the edge here. Gonna miss, actually lands Dark Binding onto Malphite. He's gonna go down, but they do manage to take down the Lee Sin as well. Nar goes in, he's getting really low. He's gonna go down to Fabi. And that is a two-for-one trade again, as well as taking down this tower. Morgana forced to run, and Zed is continuing to shove down bottom. Caitlyn comes to help reinforce mid, but he... Oh, sorry, Annie comes to reinforce mid. Caitlyn went down bottom to def deflect the Zed, and he actually is already backing off there, going for this dragon. He's going for red. That blue trinket, you better watch out, buddy. Gets stunned up. He's going to jump over the... Oh. But he did delay them so that his team was able to get the dragon. But honestly, I think he thought he was going to be able to finish her off. He, he didn't realize that there were so many other people that are around. But I'm kind of confused as to why. Because you, you, you know... Actually, he even had a ward here, so he knew exactly what was going on. He saw the Morgana. He didn't see the Caitlyn until, his ult, until her ulti came at him. But honestly, I mean, you had to expect that. You just saw her down here. There's no way she's not going to come and help her support. There's no way. And unfortunately for him, that's exactly what happened. He went down. Didn't even manage to go ahead and finish anybody off for it either. But again, they got the dragon. Both teams... No, not tied on dragon. These guys only have one. For some reason, I thought they already had one. They didn't. <laughs> Janet just trying to stay safe here. Gotta watch out though. Nar and Lee are both hanging around there. And she can get engaged on pretty fast. They're gonna go ahead and clear out that pink ward. Now she is going to rejoin the rest of the team. In goes Lissandra. No, not going to go in. Does scare them back, though. And now both teams are together, and we may see a team fight break out here again soon. Ooh, Nar got hit pretty hard there. Not terribly, but Mega Nar coming up pretty soon. There we go. Another pink ward comes out. Mega Nar not quite out yet. He timed it just right, so he does not morphed yet. Now he's going. Nope, nope. Still not quite there yet. He's doing what he can to keep himself from turning into Meganar, but I don't know if it's going to actually happen. There we go. He's going to turn into Meganar now. And not even going to be able to make use of it. Red team's still hanging around, but they are not even trying to engage this. Engaging on a Meganar, not a good idea. In the meantime, though, Sanj says, hey, I'll shove top. Why not? And there we go. They are going for that top. Lissandra's going for it. The blue team says, hey, we need to save that. And they're actually going for it. Or Magana is, at least. Lissandra getting a decent amount of damage, though. Out comes that Tormented Soil, but a lot of damage from Lissandra. We've got a team fight down in the mid, possibly breaking out. Mega Knight is not up, of course. And looks like the red team just continued to shove this so that Lissandra can possibly do some damage, but Annie's coming to reinforce Morgana. Probably not in her best interest, though, as there's five or four people down here. That was unfortunate. Yeah, I saw that, buddy. I saw that. Lissandra goes in, and down goes the Morgana. She's going to be able to back off here. And that means she's going to be able to get this tower in the next minion wave. These guys just need to keep these four occupied. If if these guys walk away, it'll be a 4v5. Or, a, a, sorry, 4v3. And red team or blue team would be able to win that. So these guys are going to be forced to just defend this tower. Lissandra's going to get this top tower. It's pretty close to being dead anyway. And Zed going to go down bottom to go ahead and split push that. Down goes that top tower now. Zed still hanging around here. Looks like he wants to get a catch, but it's not really happening so far. These guys still getting zoned off. In goes the fight. Completely flubs the ult. And Tibbers comes out. Also misses. Draven goes in. Meganar actually just came up, so that's a pretty unpleasant time to engage. In goes the Zed, though. Puts the... Thing onto the Annie. Down she goes. Draven goes in. Gets Nard. But he gets frozen by Lissandra. Gonna go down there to Fabi. Nice again. That Zonya's not gonna be enough though. She ends up going down. 
Alberto, you gotta get out. Not gonna be able to. Oh, just kidding. Gets shielded up by the Janna. He does actually get out of this. Fabi taking the tower damage, though. And they gotta watch out. Oh, that Tormented Soil. Able to go ahead and finish her off. That's tower. Down he goes to that bind. And now the red team gonna be forced to fall off. They're in a really unpleasant position. They went way too deep into this base and they had no way to get out. They'd taken entirely too much damage. That's uh, not even up yet. Not even up yet. They took too much damage and they couldn't get out because they had no way to do it. Any tower shot would have killed them. Well, by the time they were able to get out. So they couldn't go that way. They couldn't, of course, go over the wall because, you know, gates only work for that team. And they couldn't go this way because there was a Morgana zoning the heck out of them. So nicely done there by the blue team. Well, nicely done by Morgana specifically. Just keeping them away from that. There we go. Baron has started its animation. Didn't get to see the whole... Oh, there we go. There it is. And boom. Well, that sucks. Kind of wanted to see that. Oh, well, whatever. Baron is up now. Ward comes out. Double Ward placed right there. Looks like they, uh kind of agree with what they want to do. Janna comes in. Oh, gets stunned up. Malphite here. Down goes the Janna. And all of a sudden, things are not looking good for the blue team. They're going to be forced to disengage. Zed was way the heck back here. He kind of forgot to come out. So, he was just kind of hanging around in his base. A bit unfortunate there. Lissandra way out here. And she gets kicked. Ults the Annie. Annie does end up going down to Draven. But Lissandra goes down as well. That is actually a two for one so far. And now the blue team is on the push here. They might not be able to push too far. This red team is still pretty strong. Malphite still has his ult. Nar, of course, is mini Nard, and he's not going to be able to do as much tanking as he normally would. And, of course, there is a huge minion wave down here that they're going to be forced to defend against. It is now 2v3 in the mid lane. Janna is back up. She's going to come over here to join. And... Oh, man, are we going to see a Lee Sin versus Zed fight? Nope! Oh! He gets hit, though. Not gonna get, not gonna happen though. Dark Binding lands on the Zed. Lee Sin lands, the Q follows through, goes in. Out comes that, the ulti from Zed onto the Lee Sin though. Morgana manages to go ahead and help finish off Malphite. Down goes the Morgana though to Draven. As well as the Nar. Nar went down too. So that one was a three for two. Back into the red team's favor. And Dragon, of course, is back up. We see the blue, the red team already making their way down there. Annie on her way to ward it. Not really going to be able to do much again. This is going to be a dragon for the red team. The Sonder going in. Freezes up the Caitlyn. And Caitlyn is dead. And Annie went down as well to Draven. Because he was just able to auto-attack over the wall as soon as he had vision. So nicely done there by the Lissandra going in at just the right time and just utterly bursting that Caitlyn. Caitlyn really needs something like a Banshee's Veil. So far, just building pure damage and it's really not paying off because this Lissandra really good at deleting people. I'm going to go for this. They don't actually see that ward. They didn't see that ward at all. Looks like Lee Sin on his way up. Zed actually shoving top. But it would be a 4 versus 5 if the blue team decides to engage here. In goes Asanya, lands the root. Out comes her Zanyas. In they go on to Nar. Nar is mini Nar. He's going down fast. One more auto attack. Not going to happen. But in the meantime, Morgana was able to finish off with Asanya. But down goes Lee Sin. Re-engage onto the Baron. It is already reset though. Nice dodge of that Morgana. And in goes the Draven. Going to be able to finish her off there. Actually goes down to the Zed. More damage coming in from Baron again. These guys are getting really low. They have to disengage. Janna going to end up going down, actually, thanks to the Baron auto attacks. And goes down and gets the kill to Morgana, unfortunately for her. Malphite. Oh, unpleasant pathing there. Ends up going down. Wanted to head this way. I guess he probably clicked, like, somewhere up here. So there's Malphite. Said, oh, sure, I'll turn around. Don't turn around, bro. Turn around. But that means that we have the blue team going for this Baron now. Fabi working his way around, possibly wanting to go in on something. Uh, got some damage onto Annie there. She's really low, but she did not go down. In comes Lissandra. Down goes the Caitlyn and the Annie at the same time. Zed coming in, steps on a trap, though. Nar trying his best to get out. Will he be able to? No. There goes that Zed ulti. He is dead. Oh, not dead yet. Oh, down he goes to the Ignite. Yep, he's dead. 
<laughs> He's dead, Jim. And Zed says, ah, sure, I'll take that. Wait, wait, wait. Who stole Baron? How did they steal Baron? There's that. Oh my gosh! She was actually able to steal it there while killing the Caitlyn. That is pretty impressive. I didn't even notice that. Because it was so set on them actually getting the kills there. But yeah, they got the Baron out of that too. And that's pretty much GG here for the blue team. This is the... Yeah. It's going to be hard for them to do anything with this. They, they have a moment right now as the red team is actually quite spread out. Oh, hello, Morgana! That black shield. That's yeah, going to do a lot versus Zed. Lee Sin just counter jungling up here. And Malphite just destroying the minion wave. Mean Malphite! Alright. Now we do see the red team pinging this mid lane. Morgana, you better watch out. Zed is on his way down. And he's wanting to go for this. Lee Sin's there to counter, but Malphite is there as well with his ulti. And yeah, they're going to be able to see this. And they go on to the Lee Sin. And Timbers comes out from Annie. Not such a good plan, though. And she's getting really low. They do manage to disengage thanks to that Morgana Dark Binding. Got really low from the Draven ulti, though. Really low indeed. Dark Binding just barely misses that Zed, and he's gonna be able to get out of this. Nar trying his best to get up to Mega Nar for him. Oh, Caitlyn just gets melted by Fabi. Instantly melted. He's really big. Why is he so big? Why is he so big? I don't know. Anyway, though, they're going in. And, yeah. This is probably going to be the end. Nar actually nars them into the tower. It is still doing a lot of damage. Nar goes down. Down goes the tower, though. Down goes the inhib. Raven is still really big. I don't know why. Now the tower goes down. I'm trying to figure out why he's so big. It's not this, is it? No? Wait, there it is. Elixir of Iron. Increased size. Okay. That is really trippy. It really does make you huge. And man, three shots. Caitlyn goes down. That is the ace. That is the victory. And Malphite ults in just in time to go ahead and show off a little bit there. So that's going to be the end of this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it, big, big Draven. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> Bye.